What is going on Babylonians? It's me, Songs of Rays, back with another Outriders World Slayer video to bring to you, and today we are doing another of the go legendary gun guides, and this time it's going to be for the Corruptor Revolver, and it's tier 3 mod, which is going to be target rich environment. So without further ado, let's start getting into it. Alright, as always, we like to be able to cover the aesthetics, and the Corruptor has definitely got one of those soft spaces in my heart, because I genuinely love how it still looks like a revolver underneath all this, and then it's got something on top of it to be able to show that it's mutated and turned into something more. I genuinely think this is really nice, and I, weirdly, it's given me some CSGO kind of vibes, and I would actually love to see this kind of skin actually make its way onto the R8 revolver in that game. But... I digress, I probably were talking about a different game altogether there. So let's have a look into the stats, let's actually break it down properly. So, this is a standard variant revolver, this comes with a 6 round clip size, comes with an RPM of 361, damage is ridiculously high at 27,850, reload speed is 1.6 seconds, so relatively quick as well, and the crit multiplier is at a very nice, very juicy 200%. So when it comes to the attributes, that's when things start getting really juicy, and that's when we have the crit damage, we have the close range damage, and we have the healing received. And obviously crit damage and close range damage are absolutely perfect when it comes to actually high damage or de damage dealing uh, secondaries to be able to fall back on. In terms of the mods though, we have target rich environments. Critical shots ricochet to 5 enemies within a 12 meter radius, and ricochets deal 30% of the initial shot's damage with a 3 second cooldown. Now what I like about this mod is that it takes something that we've already had before and makes it so much better. We've seen the mod of Pinball come onto the, uh, onto the Lucky, which... The Lucky is a great revolver, it's definitely one of the nicer looking ones, and it definitely has this, uh, a decent amount of damage behind it, but the, the tier 3 mod really just let it down, because all it was about was actually dealing uh, base weapon damage, and dealing so much of that in the first place, whereas target rich environment will actually take into consideration every single bit of damage that you're about to deal, and then share that out to all the enemies that are nearby, almost in a way of kind of having like a uh, damage link built into it, uh, but then obviously the, this then go like benefit it's from actual additional modifiers rather than just what pinball was able to do now i have been messing about with the corruptor when it comes to the trigger uh, trigger twitch set when it comes to technomancers and it's actually done a decent enough job i do actually think that the corruptor is uh, is able to get away with doing ridiculously high base damage and this is going on a technomancer i'd love to see how far we can actually take this when it comes to a trickster because revolvers have high base damage they have high crit multipliers and obviously it's all about landing those critical shots the fact that it rolls into additional crit damage on top of that and we've now got a mod that does ridiculous amount uh, like uh, ridiculous sharing when it comes to damage uh, in terms of that as well makes it a really good kind of a tasty alternative to be able to actually go for uh, kind of like mobbing as well so I do think that maybe trigger twitch would actually go really really nicely with this revolver in terms of the mod though, I would recommend trying to find this on something else as well. So if you were going for any kind of firepower build, this mod will actually do you some, uh, some justice and it would actually be a very nice and welcome uh, kind of like mod to actually have onto your actual set piece. Now obviously it doesn't help you with taking out the initial target, but for example as a firepower technomancer, you don't want any kind of mod that really helps you take out the initial target that you're shooting at. You want something that can help like weaken the other enemies that are nearby and target rich environment will really help you out when it comes to that. So therefore, this is kind of almost like a, an on-kill uh, bone shrapnel in a way, where it's not going to hurt you trying to refill your rounds. It will actually do the benefit of uh, trying to help uh, like soften up targets, so you actually have an easier job ready for the next one to be able to go around. As such, I love what the Corruptor is bringing to the table. Obviously, it won't fit into every single build that's out there, but I do genuinely think it's got the firepower and the stopping power behind it to actually make its way into some kind of firepower build, especially if Trigger Twitch actually does get the buff that we've been told. And obviously, you know, if there's a way that I can actually get around uh, using the close range damage when it comes to something like a Dead Eye set, this potentially could actually do a lot of damage. Anyways, that pretty much wraps up the video, so I hope you've enjoyed it and I hope you've learned something useful with ourselves. If you did, make sure you have dropped a like and a subscribe and let me know in the comment section down below have you tried out the corruptor and what are your thoughts on target rich environment that just leaves me to say thank you so much for getting to the end of the video keep yourself safe keep yourselves well and i'll see you all on our next video